out. And we're going to show you the beaver in a minute. And I'm just going to put this trap, what they've got here, pretty much what I'd call a beaver sidewalk. Kind of like at the park. Everybody wants to walk on the sidewalk or the blacktop walking track, whatever you got in your town. Well, a beaver likes to use his run. They've been here for a long time. You can see by the background, they've stopped up this. They've killed many trees. Uh, this beaver has pretty much uh, done the last damage he's going to do. And I'm going to put this trap back because he's not alone out here. He cannot do all this damage by himself. And uh, looks like he has probably been in a fight too. And uh, we'll check that out here in a few minutes. But uh, this trap has been cocked. The safety locks are on. And what you gotta do, that may look easy, squeezing this together, but looks easy and being easy are two different things. And for my own safety, and anybody who messes with one of these, this is pretty much what I'd call a required tool. That is a safety set. When it goes off while you're messing with it, you will not have to go get in a helicopter and go to the hospital. So what we're gonna do is lock these jaws back down with the beaver speeding sticks. With this safety on, we don't have any problem putting it on the ground. What I'm going to do is go ahead and unlock the jaw since my safety's on. Here's where the dangerous part comes in. If this thing goes off without this safety, your arm is going to be in bad shape. So we're going to set her back down in there. And I've got a rope tied on it. That way I know what's going on. When I feel it pulling on me, I do not leave my safety. I know it's here. This particular log, see, just like that, I left the safety on. This particular stick here is what we all call, anybody that watches this, that's ever done this before will know, this is a beaver dive stick, or otter, or pretty much anything. He would rather climb over this, or go under this, than climb over. And when he goes over, under, excuse me, then that's when he meets God Almighty. And the trap is loaded, locked. In some situations, people say loaded for bear. This one's loaded for beaver. Got some pretty good incisors there on him, what I'd call it, teeth, whatever. He's done a lot of chewing. The only thing that's gonna happen to him is an oven roaster. And I'm gonna show you something I've done. These are my trap setters. They have a safety lock. I don't believe in too much safety. For some reason, I've hurt myself many times in my life for not using safety. In the later years, I began to use a lot of it. These lock when you cock your trap, so you can be hands-free. I have extended these where they're just near, you know, it's called leverage. They're easier to cock. This has been added to stop jaw spread when they're cocked on these to keep it from slipping off, which has happened. 
and these are supposed to be excellent but they need to be modified somewhat to even make them safer and that's what's been done here and uh, we appreciate you watching this is predator control again and we've got a few more traps to run and uh, make a decision on blowing a dam to get some of this water out and put them back to work where they're on their feet instead of laying around rubbing their bellies. Thank you. Be careful. Over a week or so in the vicinity of this area, it was... I don't know, uh, 500 yards from here maybe. And he had been uh, scarred up pretty bad if you had seen it. We did video it. This beaver seems to have been scarred up pretty bad too. He's infected. He will not be eaten. He would just be skinned. Uh, anything that's infected, whether it's a chicken or a good old ribeye steak, I wouldn't eat it. Now, you can do what you want. That's your business. With me in particular, I don't much care for infections. Uh, his bottom lip, he has been fighting, as you can see. And the other beaver was close to this size. I would speculate that this one's a little younger because his tail's not chewed up. He doesn't have any notches gone. He may have been trying to take this area over and the other beaver would, wouldn't have it. It's uh, kind of like when you see somebody running out your back door, it's not supposed to be there. You don't like it.